Howdy, I'm Walker Lyme here with TXPS Media. I'm here with Coach McGuire from St. Thomas. You just did a really cool panel with a couple other coaches that made the state championship this past year. What was something that you really wanted to hone in on or something that you, you know, you talked about the recruiting side from middle school into a high school, which, you know, that's pretty much every private school has to do nowadays. Was that something you, like, of course you deal with it, but was that something you really wanted to touch base on with the rest of the community? Yeah, I think, you know, when they approached us about the panel, uh, Coach Novikov and I both emphasized that we wanted to talk about recruiting. Absolutely. Um, and both both sides of that, how right. we get kids to come to our school, right. how we get kids into college. Right. Um, and neither one of us is shy and say, no, we, we're going to tell you, yes, we recruit. I, I recruit every eighth grader in the city of Houston. Right. Every one of them. I don't care. Um, but I don't recruit high school kids. No. But my players recruit high school kids. Absolutely. My players talk and they go to camps and they, you know, interact at gyms with other kids. And, and we just wanted to clear the air and let it be out there. Yep. Yeah. That was a, that was one thing I actually wanted to hone in on was the idea of like meeting with other like seven on seven groups and other things like that, which is not something from my high school days that was really a thing. It was kind of a thing, but it's much more prevalent in today's high school football. How important is connecting with like groups and other seven on seven organizations around your city? Do you think I mean, it, it's been crucial for us? We got right. we got connected early with a group called Beast Mode Elite. Yes. Run by Donnie Smith. He's a great guy, yeah. a really good human being. He cares about kids. He's doing it for the right reasons. Um, and they started hosting camps, running seven on seven leagues and tournaments and stuff in the spring. Um, some of our kids played for him. Yeah. Early on, way back in the day, Josh Chrisman, Drake Martinez, some names yes, from way yeah, back in the yep. day, they played for him. Um, and so again, that relationship has just grown. Yeah. They, they, they like having access to our field when. You know, oh, absolutely. They can. Um, and it gives our kids an easy avenue to say, okay, well, that's a seven-on-seven seven group I can go play with. Right. And then they've also been able to talk other kids on that seven-on-seven seven team to reaching out to us to, to right. want to come play for us. I mean, that was the thing where I, I think, you know, you it's a private school. I think Novikov said it best where you're paying for a private school education to help your kid get to college. There's an avenue for private schools to help you get there, to Absolutely. get to the college. And Absolutely. I think that's not a bad thing at all. No, it's not. And then when they see that we're able to do that, whether right. that's – Two or I three mean, how many, one guy how many D1 guys did you have last year? This, this past, past year, season? we've got six going to play Division One. I, I think. Crazy. Five or six going to play Division One. Crazy. Um, not all of those on scholarship. But no, that's of okay. course. That's okay. Right? A, I mean, like, I think w you were telling a story earlier about a guy who went, got a PWO, mm -hmm. went to college, and then said, hey, football is not for me for the next five years of my life, four years of my life, but and still at a, great, at a great school. It and got him in. Yep. You know, um, we had a kid a long time ago, a kid uh, named Pete Huggins, and – he wanted to go to Middlebury, right, way up in Vermont or something. Gotcha. I don't know. It's way cool. up in the Northeast. And the only way he got in was the fact that he was a really good football player, right. Um, and so he was able to get in. He ended up playing four years because he loved it. Yeah, you know? it, I mean, it's had, both sides of it. Yeah. yeah. Some so. guys just want to play college ball, and also college cabal can get you to so many other things in your life, which is Absolutely. I think is a great thing. Yes. So yes. Uh, I'll end it. I'll, I'll end the fun things there. Let's talk fun things. I have a couple questions for. What is your Mount Rushmore of the greatest high school football players you've seen live? Wow. Uh, Couple four. There was a kid, and I'm going to forget his name. He played at uh, – golly. He, was, he, he played against KD back – Ooh. I mean, it's been 14, 15 years ago. Kay. He was a nose guard Ooh. for Tyler, Allen. I don't know. Um, he ended up going to Wake Forest. Okay. I literally, w I was sitting there watching him, and this kid, Katie's, you know, this was it's Katie. 15 years ago, Katie's run toss sweep. Shocker. <laughs> um, and this kid from those guard position changed. is making the play really? for a zero yard gain on the sideline. Whew. And I called my buddy, who was at the time the head coach at AM Kingsville, because I knew the kid didn't have any offers. I was right. Like, Dude, have you looked at this guy? And he was like, yeah, but what position does he play in college? Because he was 5'11 and weighed 240 pounds. Right. And I said, I don't care. Put him on the field. Yeah. Put him on the field. Yeah. And he ended up going to Wake Forest. He actually ended up playing in the league as a tight end fullback. Really? And he ended up playing some defensive line as Good well. Good for him. He was just a really talented kid. That guy was unbelievable. Um, and you got any others on the top of your head? God, he, he's the one that jumps out. I, That's fine. That's a great answer. All right. A couple others then. What is your, like, favorite pregame meal? My favorite pregame meal. 
Yes. It's probably uh, Subway sandwich? Is that terrible? Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Hey, Subway has always been there for us. Yeah, right? I mean, I'm a, I'm a good, solid sub sandwich. We usually do. Netzel always feeds us after the game. We get all the, the uh, Booster Club leftovers. So not, oh, we get the sausage as I know. And, yeah, it's and their quality. And dogs and stuff. So, right. Uh, I do a nice Subway sandwich for you. Usually. Is Subway your top tier sandwich place? Or is that your yeah, favorite? Yeah, it's, it's Subway or Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's has been catching up lately. It has. I, I've been. I've been reaching out to Jersey Mike's. They're, they're, they're pretty good as well. Absolutely. Okay, Other last question. The Let's take an average guy. Played high school football, right? He's in his, like, he's still athletic, but he just didn't play any college, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think he could get one yard in the NFL? Average guy, played high school football, but nothing truly special. Do you think he could be a running back and get one yard in the NFL? Well, if he had five Larry Allens blocking for him, maybe. RIP. But, yes, I mean, <laughs> if five Larry Allens was offensive line, you would, you would win every single game ever. So, I say, let's talk about offensive and defensive lines, like mesh, like they're at the line of scrimmage. You know, they kind of equal each other out. Yeah, do you yeah, think yeah. so? Probably not. Not or not. All right, <laughs> one last thing. I'm going to make you do it. Is I want you to draw your high school or your your team's logo. I'm not gonna make you draw the eagle one because oh, that's a little harder. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just you're lucky that you got the you got the I'm, letters. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible. But yes, but you have to try. This is the red ink, which of is course. appropriate. I, I I get all the colors for every school. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. The T is bigger. It is bigger. But I'm way off. Uh, the H is too big. See? It's a little bit. Show the camera. All right. There you go. There you go. That's all it is, Coach. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.